So since spring is just around the corner, I thought I would go through how I set up a new journal. The first thing I tend to do is to go into this year ahead area and sort of just mark out what the season is for me. Because um, if you want to just divide up the year cleanly into four, winter, spring, summer, fall, you can absolutely do that. And it actually works out really nicely that way just for all the rows here will have 13 weeks. Since each planner has 13 weeks, you can just migrate those dates over pretty easy. But since I like to do things the hard way, and since December just feels so much like a winter month to me, I'm starting this uh, spring season in March. So I've just marked out where my last week ends for what I was using my December calendar for. And so my first week is going to actually start on March 4th, and then they'll continue until June 2nd. Um, I also like to put in these little tabs. Uh, this is just some washi tape that I've folded over. The other thing I can, I sometimes like to use are these uh, door frames that I picked up, which are just kind of a slightly heavier cardboard paper that I've taped in. And in that way, you can kind of make little tabs to find sections more easily later on. So after I've selected what the season is for me, the next main thing, uh, I'll also fill in what the future log is going to contain. So that's just the next six months starting from March for me, or it might be from April, April to September if you're doing the simple row method. I'll also fill in my key. This is a very simple one that I've been using for a while now. Um, and it's kind of a combination of this with some other symbols that I like to use and the way I fill that in day to day. Uh, I also like to leave a little space just in case I want to vary that or I discover something new that I like doing. So now that I have an idea of what those months are going to be, um, I start filling in dates and at minimum what I generally start with is honestly just Mondays and Sundays. I went a little bit more here because I got a little bit enamored with my colors the night I was doing this and you can see I started filling in some other fun stuff just wherever my heart wanted to go that day basically but just the Mondays or the, even just the Sundays is enough to give you a reference point for filling the same thing in in the months and then the weeks later. Um, so I've also migrated over some dates into the monthly calendars here and I've also set up my uh, this is what I like to call my star charts. So it's just a way of, that I have of tracking different practices. I'll give myself a check if I do a very short anything goes practice and I'll give myself a star if I do something longer and work a bit harder. It's a really simple way of rewarding consistency and also pushing further, challenging yourself. Um, but so very simply, I just put in what those tasks or practices are and then underline the weekends so that I have a reference point. And I have a bit of a color coding system for the days of the week, as you can maybe see here, except for I haven't filled in Thursday yet. <laughs> Um, and as I go through the actual month, I'll actually color these in and write any events or extra notes in here. And that'll make it really easy for me to find my place later as I work through the month. So now that I have those filled in, I will also fill in either the Monday or Sunday, or again, as you can see here, I did a little bit more going week by week. So that when I start working through this, again, I just have some reference points. I've again put these little doors here as tabs so that I can easily find where the next month starts. And then finally, I've divvied up the actual prompts in here into thirds. So that I have an idea of when I hit about the amount of prompts that were set out for each month. There's 45 total, 
so I've divvied them up into groups of 15. That doesn't mean I'm going to get 15 done every month. It may be a few more one month, a few less another month, but it just gives me a general idea of how well I'm sticking to that division. And that's it. From there, I have enough set up that if I start using this next week, I know what my Mondays and Sundays are, and I can fill in the rest as I go.